Lenvatinib, as I mentioned, targets multiple proteins, including vascular endothelial growth factor receptors 1 through 3, fibroblast growth factor receptors 1 through 4, platelet-derived growth factor alpha, and all of these are pathways that are known to promote oncogenesis in some fashion. It also inhibits oncogenes uh, such as uh, RET and KIT, so again, a number of targets, um, but clearly hits the, the antigenic pathway for sure. And then pembrolizumab, as, as I mentioned, is an anti-PD-1 inhibitor, um, and so the idea was to combine this combination in this multi-core phase two study. There's a lot of preclinical data that has been done that's looked at this, uh, these drugs at single agents and also in combination. And what we know from early preclinical um, data is that lenvatinib appears to have anti-tumor activity and also appears to have immunomodulatory effects. So this agent in, in vivo, uh, syngenic uh, cancer models, uh, has shown to decrease the tumor-associated macrophage population, and we believe that as a single agent, that's how this drug mediates its activity. Recent uh, uh, updates to the preclinical data and also the biomarker results for 37 patients on the endometrial cancer report that are going to be presented this year at ASCO show that when the two drugs are combined, the lenvatinib and the pembrolizumab, that they actually uh, stimulate the interferon gamma pathway. So interferon gamma is uh, upregulated, as are interferon gamma regulated chemokines. And it appears that the two drugs together mediate their efficacy that way.